From St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first are Stan and Victoria Skirt from Toronto, Ontario, in thanksgiving for their 50th wedding anniversary, which they will be celebrating on August 19th, for the health of the members of their extended family, for deceased family members, and for vocations to the priesthood. The second are Richard and Gertrude Daly from St. John, Newfoundland, in thanksgiving for blessings received in their 50 years of marriage and for their children and grandchildren. On behalf of everyone gathered for this sacred celebration, I would like to thank Stan and Victoria Skirt and Richard and Gertrude Daly for this gift and to wish you both a very happy 50th anniversary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather here today to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. In order to enter into the celebration more fully, let us call to mind our sins and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. You are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, help us to love you with all our hearts and to love all people as you love them. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of King Zedekiah of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur from Gideon, spoke to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house, which King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon took away from this place and carried to Babylon. I will also bring back to this place King Jeconiah, son of Je Jehoiakim of Judah, and all the exiles from Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles. But listen now to this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many countries and great kingdoms. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of that prophet comes true, then it will be known that the Lord has truly sent the prophet. Then the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, This is how I will break the yoke of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon from the neck of all the nations within two years. And this the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Some time after the prophet Jeremiah had broken the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Go tell Hananiah, thus says the Lord, You have broken wooden bars only to forge iron bars in place of them. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, 
I have put an iron yoke on the neck of all these nations so that they may serve King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, and they shall indeed serve him. I have even given him the wild animals. And the prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hananiah, Listen, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you made this people trust in a lie. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am going to send you off the face of the earth. Within this year you will be dead, because you have spoken rebellion against the Lord. In the same year, in the seventh month, the prophet Hananiah died. The word of the Lord. Sing with joy to God our help. Sing with joy to God our help. My people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels. Sing with joy to God our help. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. Then I would quickly subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Sing with joy to God our help. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him and their doom would last forever. I would feed you with the finest of the wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would satisfy you. Sing with joy to God our help. Alleluia. on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, Jesus looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men besides women and children. The Gospel 
of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus.